Hey there guys, I'm MG Haggis and this is my Let's Play of SnowRunner. First things first, I have got a new subscriber I'd like to welcome. It's Ama, spelled A-H-M-A. I don't know if that's correct how you pronounce it, but anyway, thank you so much for subscribing. It is greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Okay, back to the job in hand. We're back in the Land Rover Defender. We're in the Heartlands. I've driven through, as I said it would in the last episode, we're just going to fire off the radar a couple of times, maybe in this area, and I think that's pretty much it. Anything else, I'll probably just do off recording, because this guy can easily get around the map, and just to like clean it up a wee bit, just little corners maybe, anything that, I can't see us finding anything is the main thing. So, oh, and I did check in the F4 profile screen, if you're in your garage, it's F4 for me because I'm on the PC. Um, you can go in and I have found all of the upgrades in this region. So there's no more finding of them uh, unexpectedly. So that's cool. Anyway, so let's fire off this thing and then we'll move on to a contract. So that's that. Let's click the radar and number four. The only thing that this thing might find is the odd task that's out in the edges but that's nothing major again that that's better maybe we'll just there's a road leading up here so we'll, we'll try and get along to about there and we'll do it again okay let's go 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 and that's the fuel trailer i brought along you should remember if you've watched previous i dumped it there just in case of emergencies i'm not going to bother topping up the land rover because i've probably got plenty of fuel to do what we need to do, get around the map, he's not thirsty, he's like less than two litres a minute. Um, and then get, oh, that's going to be muddy, let's go around that, uh, and get him back to the garage. Because that's where he's going pretty much soon enough. Okay, just going to pick up a little bit more damage. Uh, let's go to the top of this. Sorry, tree. Sorry, bonnet. Bouncy. Right, let's get through here, but faster. Whoa, I didn't see that one. These little, like, um, undulations and, oh, like that. They just sneak up on you. It's another one. Kind of up there. No. Let's just go to the top of this wee hill since it's right here. Interesting. What have we got there? Oh, is that... That's like another one of these up the top, but it's, it's here. Oh, okay. Right. Again, let's fire it off. Yeah, nothing's appeared. I'm surprised they didn't actually have anything sitting in here, but they didn't, which is good. Okay, that's a bit tidier. Cool. Okay, let's put the engine off. All good. He's He can sit and watch the view, which is... Eh, it's not a bad view. Quite nice up here, actually. Anyway... He'll do any more of that radar stuff off screen. Now, let's focus on the contract. And the contract is fighting fire with fire. We need to go back to the Institute. So, we can do that easily enough. And I think it's the Tega we need to jump into. Yes. Let's do that first of all. And then we'll have a blether about what's involved. Okay, now we're through. And we're obviously at the warehouse. And this is where I left it, the Tega before with this four slot trailer. Oh, no big problems there. Now, the contract is... Fighting fire with fire. So we've got to visit the Institute, so that's easy enough, because handily, we're right there. So I'm just going to drive forward for that. But then this is locked. Secure containers. Oh, I've just... Oh, oh, there's five of them. I didn't see that right until then. I had a quick look at the end of the last episode. I thought, oh, three containers, I, got, I can do that. But there's five, and this is a four-slot trailer. Wouldn't you believe it? Okay, we'll have to figure something out. Oh, well, we do have 
the five slot over there if we need to go and get it, but probably I think we can get away with it. Pick up a container, drop it off, that'll leave this room. So let's first of all go get that. Go visit what we've already visited. There we go. And they all appear to be behind me. Let's have a look at the map again. Oh, they are literally all behind me. Oh. Interesting. And now that they're like that, I'm thinking, well, we'll just go load up four and we'll double stack the fifth. This trailer's perfect for that. Back it up. A little bit of magic involved there as well. Dealing with a lot of nasty substances. Maybe who's the easiest way to get into that corner? Probably do an action. We'll do a U-turn. Camera's jumping into that thing there. Right, let's pick up this one. Okay, board. As soon as we've got nothing loaded, what is board? Anybody know? I didn't see any... Well, you won't have seen the video that I've done when I ask about that. But now let's try it. Oh, some, I can hear something. Oh, look! Oh, it's a... It, yeah, how cool. It's a trailer thingy bobbery. I don't know why you would need that. Okay, well that answers that question. Right, now crane. It's clearly not eject all the load from the trailer, which is good. Well, it might be. We haven't loaded anything yet. Camera in a slightly better place. Or can we drop it? Or load it gently as it is. We're not dropping anything. It's not bad. Let's go for the next one. <clears throat> Up. And drop. Is this more radioactive, or is this something else? Yeah, you can drop in place. You look well packaged. Now, can we reach this last one? No, I don't think so. So let's just move forwards. Uh, we should go there. And oh, I'll rest this one. In fact, I'll put this at the front and I'll put the next ones on top. Hopefully they'll, they'll load. In fact, I'll need to package the four first of all and then do the fifth. Last, no, not well, not last. Second last official. One unofficial. Turn round you go. Probably close enough. Right, pack them up. Yeah, nice and tidy. Okay, back to the crane. Can 
see them. They're gonna have to drag along the ground a wee bit, but that's okay. Up you come. If you can just sit comfortably in there. Yeah, like so. I'm not going to put the crane on them because we're articulated or fifth wheeled. There we go. We are ready to go. Just back it up a little bit so I can get out a bit easier. Right, where are we off to? That's the next big question. 203 litres of fuel. We could probably do with a top up. Five different locations we're going to. We duck under the beam. Right, let's put the engine off there and look at the map. Get some logical drop offs. Well, there's three handily in the middle. One over there, and one down there. Okay, that one down there is not ideal. If we went to this one, we could go north, get some fuel, and then carry on for these three, finishing up, coming down here for that one. Yeah, that'll do. So, I'm going to be cutting off there. Where did that waypoint go? There. Probably have to go all the way round and then back. Get to there, I know where I'm going. Oh, oh. off we go. You stay there, that fifth one. Be the five uh, five minute uh, rain call. Okay. If that one just rocks about there, that's okay. As long as it doesn't try and disappear between the bars. Not the kind of thing you want to drop and leave lying about the side of the road. Does. Once we get this first one dropped off, we'll be good because we'll just repackage them. And grass. I was going to cut left, then change my mind, cut right. Obviously, I've recorded this in advance, but I'm going to ask the question anyway. Anybody done the TUZ-166 challenge? They're misbehaving. Still not done it again to improve my time. I'm still at, was it 1 minute 41? Give it a go if you haven't done it already. I'm not saying I'm competitive or not, but I don't like to lose. straight across here at a shallow bit. But I don't want to risk it. Unless it's for a biscuit. Ain't gonna risk it. And ironically the first thing we go past is the five stop trailer. Maybe that's where they left it us. Or Up 
Okay, that looks shallow at both ends. Let's go for it. There's a tree there just in case. Yes, no problem. Wonder if it'll automatically take them, or do you have to drop them in the zone with the cargo management? Probably cargo management, yellow box. Okay. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. You can have one of these finest containers take your pick. It's the back one. It had to be the back one. Okay, let's see if they'll pack. Oh yeah, not a problem. Right, back it out. Quick jackknife, and out we go. Head for the tree. Rest wheel spin. I probably got away without using the winch, but you know, it helps speed things up. Okay, I'm going to save a bit of time guys and do a re-edit, get refueled, and I'll bring you back at the next drop-off because that's three that are quite close together. This is just a wee drive north. Anything, anything untoward happens, you know the routine, you will see it. So, back in a sec. Welcome back. Okay. En route to the first of the three that are clumped together. I've set some waypoints for pretty much all of it to the final destination. We might have to slightly adjust them en route when we figure out how do we get to each one. But random places to drop off items of this nature. All I see there is a yellow box, but I have to get out of here again. How do I reverse turn out of there? Now let's get rid of one. There we go. Next is over there. Right, back over there. Okay, back it up. like playing in the mud, as bad as a warthog. Right, we're out. Around these trees, try and straighten up a little bit better for this crossing. It's almost perfect. Oh, the time of day went back around to the morning. He had a wee snooze when he was getting fixed up and refueled. Uh, I, he wasn't even broken, was he? When he was getting refueled. He went for a snooze and lo and behold, it was the morning again. And it's a sunny morning. Lovely. Stay with the water if we can. Every time I avoid those bits, I'm like, is there any tree stumps I'm going to go smacking into? Personally, if I was a deaf, that's what I would do. I'd put tree stumps in, just in a bush or something. You'll do it once, but you won't do it again. That's a slab crossing. It's not too bad, this one. We did it before. No major damage was caused. Come out for them. Sneak into this box and then reverse straight back out again. There you go. Help yourself. Okay, right back out now. Crossing straight ahead. Okay, to miss that slab. We'll go for the second one. Up you get. 
Nice. Number four is over there. Let's cut this corner a wee bit. Or a lot. Forward crossing. Wheels all nice and clean. For like five minutes. Okay, now we're cutting off over there, are we? Okay, let's get off road. Carve our way through the trees, this is quite nice. Stones, no hidden ditches. Oh, okay, the trailer caught something there. Okay, this is a bit boggy. This is just a little bit boggy. We're going to have to go straight across. Okay, we've got a passenger. We've picked up a tree. Don't know why. There we go. Let's just keep going before we start sinking into the mud. Get rid of that. Last but not least, that direction. Um, from here... Okay, I'm just going to head straight for that waypoint. The trees got out. Good. Didn't pay as fair. He gives this an excellent tool for this kind of job. Big fat tires. Massive power. And it was absolutely perfectly located for the start of the contract. A contract. We're kind of lucky we're a bit of ditched uh, scout vehicles and trucks and trailers. They're normally in the last place you need them. Cut through there. Can we get across without damaging the tanks? If I go at an angle, that tree in the background, should I need it? Right, go left. Right. Nice and gently. Nope. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get up there, are you? Not enough grip. Okay, use the winch. Such a fine day. Oh. When I was passing this trailer's coming up on the right, I used the Land Rover and pulled him further off the road. That's better parking. We need to figure out what he's going to be used for. How far to go? Just thinking, secure container. 
Oh, that's metal. I thought it was wood. I thought that's not very secure if it's made of wood. You can just kind of like saw your way in. I feel like how they've crisscrossed the, the anchors and that. Hold it tight in place. He came down this once just to have a look where this road uh, led to, and then, nope, that'll do, about turn. We've not crossed from this angle, this direction before. Ooh, stay in your wheels. Yeah, that was a nasty little wheel track there. Go and take it in for the tree. Two handily placed trees and a couple on their sides. We should be good. Slow progress, but it's progress. Watch that. Tree root, our base. Okay, what are we looking for here? Trees. I ain't going straight across there. That's a big fat nope. You can see the winch getting used quite a lot for the final portion of this. This is probably where you just want a two-slot load bed and no trailer. Right, let's use that winch. That's a good tree. Okay, we're kind of out. Right, let's see if we can get to that one over. Nope. Okay, that one there. I feel like I'm putting bad stuff into random locations that normally we'd be going to pick up and return to its correct, safe, even location, like a secure lab. And this next one round. Release the winch and use a different point. How are we going to make it out? Or do I have to use another winch? Oh, I'm going to have to use another winch. That one to there. Oh, I'm going to put the tree up. Ah, oh, yeah. Some lights and it's less like a Christmas tree getting put up. Go on. Go on, Tega. Last little bit. Here we go. I'm not stopping until I'm fully out. In for the next tree. Oh, I'm going to sink into that as soon as I stop. There we go. Fighting fire with fire. Ecological crisis averted. Good work, and while the neutralizer... Ah, neutralizer. While the neutralizer does its thing, I'll suggest you take a decontamina decontamination shower. You know, just in case. So, that's what that was for. 11,000 cash and a good bit of XP for that. Okay, we are getting deep into the mud. I'm going to call it an episode, guys, and I'm just going to head out with this take a point, put it back in the vicinity of this area here just in case we need it again there's a drop off point for the weak link whatever that's two planks oh we could probably go and do that one plank two planks so yeah i'm going to head over in this vicinity in preparation for the, whatever we do next don't know what it's going to be maybe the weak link maybe not i did a uh, is it in this one no it's a different map I was considering doing that garbage one again to the hermit shack but i thought we've just done something like that. we'll do it again at a later date um, just to mix it up a wee bit. 
So, again, I'm going to head home and uh, or back to that corner. And uh, you'll see me again soon. I hope you enjoyed that one, guys. Um, a little bit different, five points. Bit of fun. You'll see me again soon. Bye for now.